Um, hi there, I'm going to talk about Fallout 3. I'm not going to, you know, go into depth about it because there's too much to talk about, but I'm just going to tell you the stuff I like about it. And um, one of them is uh, a special feature that they have in this that they didn't have in Oblivion. It's called VATS, V-A-T-S. And um, it's a very, uh, you know, you push R2 on the PS3 because I don't know what you push on the 360 because I don't have a 360. I wish I did, but I don't. And then it pauses time. And you zoom up on the enemy and you can highlight a specific body part. And you can choose that body part to blow away with your gun. And um, it is very cinematic. Almost like, you know, kind of Matrix cinematic. And I have a clip of it that I took a while ago. And I'll show you how it works. So uh, I hope you like it. Oh, and by the way, the percentages you see there, they show you how much chance you have of actually hitting that body part. But still, you know, that, um, that VATS mode, they take up action points. Action points are, you know, they're, they're called your AP. Um, the more body parts you pick out, the more your AP goes down. And um, the mo if your AP goes down too low, then you can't, um, you, you know, choose any more body parts. But uh, still, it's a pretty cool feature. And it never, ever, ever gets old. And um, what you can do, I'm just reading from the book here because there's too much to talk about. And, um... You do everything you do, you gain experience, and you go up in points, and you gain levels and stuff, and then you can customize your character even more with um, special abilities, whether it be like, you know, a Macho Man, kind of a Terminator thing, which I was the first time I played it, because I just flat out, you know, evil, just blowing crap up and killing people, taking their weapons and all that kind of stuff. But now I'm being a good person, and I'm being a speech, you know, I influence people with my speech, that's what I'm doing this time. And um, so far it is awesome, because even though I'm playing the game again, uh, it's a totally different story, even though I'm doing the, um, the, object the objective is the same. You know, this game isn't just a first-person shooter. It's got a really awesome story. You know, um, basically it is the year 2277, and, um, you know, the world has had a nuclear fallout, and um, you are pretty much raised inside a vault in the ground, Vault 101. And that's where you um, start first customizing your character, and when you've done all that, you'll get to the age 19, and then all hell breaks loose, and you're dead. He escapes the vault for a reason that you don't know why. And so you, you have to escape the vault as well, and uh, find him. One more last thing. Also, uh, the graphics are nothing short of completely awesome. I mean, you know, those red, yellow, white RCA cables, they don't do it justice. You have to use an HDMI cable with a full HD TV, LCD TV. So in conclusion, if this is your kind of game, then you definitely want to play this. Thank you for watching.